Well, I found the Swedish fans. There's thousands of England fans marching towards game. It's crunch time here at your Way for Women's Euro 2022 and today we're at Bramall Lane to see England take on Sweden. There is four teams remaining. It's England, Sweden, France and Germany and two of them will be meeting in the final this coming Sunday. I can't wait. The Way for Women's Euro 2022 has been record breaking in every way imaginable whether it be attendances, viewerships, anything in between and we are very much at the massive part of it now. One of England or Sweden will be in the final on Sunday the 31st of July, taking on one of France or Germany. And obviously from an England perspective, being very biased, I can't wait. This has been a special competition to be a part of. It's been an honour and a huge thanks again to UEFA Women's Euro 2022 for working in partnership with me, not just for now, because this tournament has been historic for now, but also for future generations too. And it's been a privilege to be a part of it. And also a huge part of it has been the fact that we've been able to give away a shirt to one of you guys each and every episode. And that's continuing now. To win a shirt of your choice from UEFA Women's Euro 2022, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment who you think is gonna win out of the four teams remaining. A lot of people comment England. I, hopefully the comment section is full of that after this game, because if, if it's not, then, then England lost. But anyway, there's a few hours to kick off. Bramall Lane is looking fantastic, decked out in UEFA for Women's Euro 2022 branding. Let's have a look around and get to the fan park. Far and away, one of my favourite things of the Euros this year has been how fun and packed these fan zones have been. Like, it's been amazing. They've been packed of every country, every fan base that comes has been incredible. What I'm going to do now is step out because at quarter past six, those of you who saw my video with the Dutch fans the other day, you can see on screen how they were. We're doing something similar today as England fans. We're doing a march to the ground behind a bus at quarter past six that I'm going to join in with. Well, I found the Swedish fans. So it's something very cool is the England fans are going to be marching behind this bus and I've just been told I will be stood on top of the bus with the England fans marching behind which is going to be incredibly cool. So yeah, stay tuned for that to happen. I hope I don't fall off for obvious reasons. As you can see, I'm now up on the bus. We're about to leave in like five, 10 minutes, but the official England band there is me, a few photographers up here. It hasn't been publicized that we're doing this march, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes, but worst case, I'll, I'll lead the charts. <laughs> England fans marching to the ground. This is unbelievably cool. You can see in the distance there the Sweden fans are marching. They've got a lot of fans marching towards the ground. A few times throughout this tournament I've noted about like big moments, like how big things feel and like just but look here, there's thousands of England fans marching to this game. Like, this is incredible history. It's history. I've said it so many times. It's history. Like 
anyone here moans about how many clips of this I've included, then just, like, what, 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 what this is unbelievable, look how many people there are, like, it's spilling out over the sides, you've got here, you've got that massive group over there as well, it's, <laughs> That was unbelievable. Like, I had to take a second to step off there and just soak in what just happened. Like, it's just ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen a fan march for a men's game, like for an English game, ever. So, like, to see that with that many people, like, it's just what an atmosphere we have so far. Imagine what it's going to be like if England win. Now inside Bramall Lane, I'm joined by what now is my yearly Euros meetup with Alfie from HOTC7. How are you doing? Not so bad. How's yourself? Good. We've got look at the look at this view we've got. We're in padded seats. We are. We're living the high life. We um. Do you think we belong? Born sandwich brigade. Yeah. Well, you, you, I seem to remember you had like a full meal before a game at last year's Euros. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. It's because of the posh voice. Like people assume I'm, I'm posh and like definitely not. <laughs> so we're gonna. It's like half an hour to kick off. Got a chicken bolty pie, which Alfie kindly purchased for me. I've just used the word purchased. It doesn't really help me not being posh. You yeah, bought it. Is, right. is it? Yeah, purchase right. doesn't cross the border. I feel like I might not be one. England are 45 minutes away from history. Been an interesting half though. Put it on you. A little bit fortunate. Um, probably had three or four really good chances. Sweden that is. We had we had chances actually. Defensively both teams were a little bit wobbly, but uh, fantastic goal to uh, break the deadlock. I think you can tell you're the football insight channel because like I'm just like good half. <laughs> it's like it's just a good half. Pie was decent. Um, 45 minutes away from history at Wembley. Fingers crossed from an England perspective, we can get there. I'm tapping this. This is a hoodie, not an England shirt. I forgot. Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Lucy Bronze! Hang on a minute. I did turn to Alfie and say it looked like the keeper was being obstructed. But none of the Sweden players complained. Goal given, 2-0.
A new record attendance for a semi-final and he weighed the women's Euros. Another record broken. The Lionesses have beaten that semi-final third. It's a party at Bramall Lane, and I'm losing my voice. Yay! England are into the final of the UEFA Women's Euro 2022. Commiserations to Sweden, who have been fantastic all tournament. Here's England, who will be on Wembley on Sunday, July the 31st. Hello, you joined me from my hotel again for another outro. Unbelievable, like genuinely unbelievable. I know when I started doing these videos and I know for the last few, there's been a few negative comments talking about views, talking about why am I doing it and whatnot. This entire channel, and to be very like off like topic and everything, this entire channel is about football and my experiences in football. And I've loved every single bit of this competition and today was special. It was surreal being on that fan bus. I, 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 I still can't believe we got to do it. Like we marched to a stadium and we've seen history and we've seen history again. And Sunday there's gonna be history because England are into the finals of a special historic women's Euros. It's been an absolute privilege and an honor to work with UEFA on this competition. And I'm so proud to say that I've done it. It's one of the, my favorite things I've done on YouTube to be completely transparent. England into the finals at Wembley. Will it be France? Will it be Germany? Either way, it's going to be a sold out Wembley. The highest ever capacity for a Women's Euros final capacity, likely. Um, and I'll see you all then. I've been Ellis, and I'll see you very, very soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye.